Hi, I'm Bex and I'm one of the ecologists at the RSPB. Today I'm going to talk to you about moths and mothing and moth trapping and some of the amazing variety of moths that you can find in your garden. Big Wild Sleep Out is all about the hidden world of animals that are around and about at night and hopefully in this video we're going to show you some of the things that you might see around and about in your own garden. So this is the kind of trap I use and lots of other moth trappers across the country use. Um, We've used here a powerful light to attract moths in, um, but you don't need to have special equipment just like this. Um, you can just go out at night with a torch, or if you've got a big old white bed sheet or something that you can hang up outside near a powerful light or shine a powerful torch on, then you can just as easily find moths that way as well. So I had this trap out in my garden last night. Uh, we're going to take a look now. I'm really excited to see what we've got. So you get moths in all sorts of different sizes, shapes, colours, varieties have a gander to see what's on this one. Oh, so we've got here uh, buff arches, beautiful patterning, and some people say it looks a bit like toffee, or I always think it's got sort of a flinty kind of look to it. There's around two and a half thousand moth species in the UK, and they come in a whole range of different sizes, everything from this tiny yellow micro moth you can see here on the right, so these enormous privet hawk moths. But this is a peppered moth. Um, these moths are really good for looking at um, how clean or dirty the air is um, around cities and towns. Um, so in places where there's lots of smog and lots of soot on trees, uh, these um, become quite dark so they can blend in with the trees. But around here there's obviously lots of nice clean air. So this is a, a nice paler version of this one. Peppered moth. Some moths are masters of mimicry and disguise. This is a great example. This is a, a buff tip moth. And as you can see, it's camouflaged so that its ends look like the broken ends of a twig. This is a spectacle moth. Uh, as you can see, if you look at the very front of its head, it's got a pair of like almost flying goggles, hence its name, the spectacle. Look at the smiley face on the back of this black arches moth. Some of the most spectacular moths you might get in the garden are the hawk moths. So here we have a, a poplar hawk moth, the grey one here, and then this amazing green and pink one is an elephant hawk moth. So it clearly doesn't look like an elephant, but its caterpillars look like the trunk. Look at how this moth is shaking. Some of these moths have got really, really large bodies, so they need to warm up their flight muscles before they can take off. So that was just a very small taster of some of the moss that you might see while you're doing Big Wild Sleep Out. What will you find?